What's going on guys? So Mario and Luigi Super Star Saga plus Bowser's Minions came out today. Uh, I did pick it up, had it pre-ordered of course. I, I love the series so I had to get it. Um, and then I also got the two new Amiibo that came out with it today which are the Goomba and the Koopa. Um, these were announced during E3. There was a lot of uh, like mixed I don't know, we got like signals on them because they were announced sort of with like the wedding ones for Odyssey. So everyone thought these were, you know, Odyssey Amiibo and they were going to be released later alongside that game. But no, these are actually for uh, this game. They just weren't too clear on it back during E3. But yeah, these came out today as well. So we're going to unbox those. You guys know I have to keep up on my Amiibo collection. Uh, as for the game, I've been excited for it. And I think a lot of people are dissing on it, saying it was an undeserved remake. I mean, to be honest, yes, we didn't really need it. But at the same time, this game is such a classic. This started the Mario & Luigi series, which, in my opinion, Mario & Luigi has kind of surpassed Paper Mario. I just feel like as an RPG series, it's still consistent to this day. Um, and I love the first one on Game Boy Advance. I've been playing it since the first one came out on Game Boy Advance. I've been playing Mario RPG games since Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. And I've played every Mario RPG game, every Paper Mario, every Mario & Luigi, uh, even Mario Plus Rabbids now, if you can count that as well. So uh, I do have the first game. I have it like I have. I saw my original Game Boy Advance cartridge. I beat it before. I also have it on Wii U Virtual Console. Uh, but this game, like I said, I was really excited for the Bowser's Minions. Definitely going to check that out. And I'm excited for all the new features of this game, the art style. They updated it as well with the Paper Jam and Dream Team engine. So it's going to be cool. Um, the cover art is okay. Ever since Bowser's Inside Story on the DS, they've kind of did this boring, like, white background with Mario and Luigi standing here and some elements around them. This is just for the North American box art. Now, I believe Europe and Japan get actual better box art which I wish we had theirs, but hey, it is what it is. It's not too bad. It's, I mean, it's, it's simple, but whatever. Um, and then on the back, it says a righteous reimagining of the Mario & Luigi RPG that started it all. Yes. And then on the side, it's Mario & Luigi, Superstar Saga, plus Bowser's Minions. Really cool. Rated E for everyone. Mild cartoon violence, mild suggestive themes. Um, it does have amiable support, obviously. Uh, plays only in 2D. That I'm a little bit disappointed about, i got to be honest. I was hoping we'd get this game in 3D, but hey, whatever. So we're going to unbox it. I like the red case. I did not expect it to actually have a red case. Uh, a couple other games, like which games had red cases? Uh, I want to say Paper Jam did, and I want to say Mario Party Star Rush did, but I'm not 100%, so... I can't, I'm going to be playing this game all day today. I got the rest of the day off work, so it's going to be excited, exciting. Um, yeah, boring, but nice nice red case. I like these red cases. I just wish they would have put something like in the squares here, but oh well. Uh, yeah, usual electronic manual, you know, health and safety. Don't play this game if you have cancer in your left butt cheek. Otherwise, you might become a squirrel with a hacksaw for a knee. I don't know. Whatever. But there's the cartridge. Um, basic stuff. Basic stuff. Yep. Um, what's cool about this game, though, is now we get the entire Mario & Luigi Saga playable on one device. You couldn't get this game on a 3DS. But now, with this game, you have this game, which is technically the first game. Then you get Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story for the DS that you can play on a, on a 3DS, as well as Dream Team and Paper Jam for the 3DS. So all five games on one system, that's pretty cool. And of course, I own all five of them now, which is cool. Now we're going to do the uh, Amiibo. The Amiibo, they look pretty cool. Goomba and Koopa. I'm surprised it took them this long to make a Goomba and a Koopa. Like, those are two of Mario's most iconic enemies. Uh, two of the most iconic enemies in gaming, period. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of wild that they took them this long to make them. But hey, it is what it is. Um, as you can see on the back, they still advertise the Wii U. They also got the new 3DS and then of course the Switch. Even though I don't know what Switch games would use these, but I guess you get in-game stamps for these. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure too much on the functions in the game, because I knew there's going to be new features, but I kept sort of, mo I kept most of it a surprise. I didn't watch too much of the gameplay that's been shown over the past few days. I know Japan got the game, I want to say, um, I think Japan got the game first, and I think the ROM was also leaked online before the game even came out in Japan, so I didn't, I didn't bother with any of that. I've kept the game, because like I said, I already played the original game back in the day, so it's one of those things that, you know, any new stuff, I want to be surprised on, so yeah. 
So I'm going to unbox them. Uh, we'll start with Goomba. Now, as you guys know, I'm an Amiibo collector, but I'm not a monetary collector, so I still use my collection, so these are going to be open. I'm not, I don't keep them sealed. So if you're new to my channel and that that's like a sin to you, I am so sorry. Not sorry. I, I do what I do. You can do what you do, but yeah. So really cool. Really cool Goomba. Gotta love Goombas. They're just, they just got that smug look on their face, you know. They look like, you know, brown rotting mushrooms, you know, whatever. Of course, always got to have the big eyebrows. <laughs> of course, it's got the the Mario um, pedestal podium. So, just like the Mario Party series and other Mario series. So, yep, yeah, really cool. Um, they're very simple, so it's not as detailed as, say, like the Samus one that came out recently. But it doesn't need to be. I mean, Mario enemies are very simple. Very simple art style. So, really, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. And of course, we got the Koopa. The Koopa Troopa. Koopa Troopa is just adorable. Ah, I think this one's so cute. I mean, look at him. He's just, he just mind his own business, strolling along. He's going to look so cute on the shelf next to all the other Amiibo. Oh, wow. They actually put a lot of detail in his mouth, which you can barely see. Because his mouth, you got to kind of look underneath it. That's really cool. They got his, his tongue in there and everything. Huh. Really cool. Again, very simple, but still, there's still detail where there needs to be. Like the shell, really good stuff. His belly, really good. Um, you get the bottom of his shoes. Yeah, like I said, really, really awesome stuff. Again, these Amiibo, Nintendo, just, they know how to make them. I know I say this all the time. I'm beating a dead horse at this point, but it's just, just really, really good quality. Really good stuff here. So... Yep, so we got the Amiibos, and we got the game. So like I said, I'm going to be playing this all day. I know another game came out today, which was the Professor Layton, or Lady Layton, or whatever it is. I'm not a Professor Layton fan, so I'm um, nothing against it, just not my cup of tea, so I didn't pick that up. Uh, I know there's also the orange and white new 2DS XL came out in North America today, which Japan and Europe had that from day one, which is kind of strange, but whatever, you know, North America gets shafted all the time, but... Of course, I didn't get that. I just got I just got my Amiibo, and I got the Mario and Luigi game because I love this series. So definitely, I know I will let you guys know how this is and what I think of it. Obviously, I love the original, so you know I'm going to love this no matter what. Uh, but I'll let you guys know what I think of the changes and all that stuff. So, yeah, definitely. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, more videos coming soon. I will catch you guys later.